everyone, and welcome to Business Boutique. I'm Christy Wright, and today we are talking about how to be successful at many things. I'll tell you, this teaching comes out of a recent article that I saw floating around on social media. Here's the title. Work, sleep, family, friends, or fitness, pick three. So what's the message there? You can't do those five things. You can only do three of those things. There's no way you could possibly have all five of those things in your life and be successful. But you know what? This message is everywhere. It's not just that article. I see this all the time. You hear this message in the media. You hear it in circles when you're talking with your friends. The message is the same. You have to choose. If you choose your family, well, your career will suffer. If you choose your career, your family will suffer. If you're gonna raise your kids right, you better have no dreams for yourself. If you're gonna build a business, well, forget about sleep and on and on and on. And if the message in the media wasn't strong enough, well, that's okay because the narrative in our head is a broken record on repeat. We're always failing. It's not if you're failing, it's which thing are you failing at today, right? Like you're either failing as a mom or in your career or in your business or in some other area of your life. We're always falling short. You can't be successful in many things. We see it again and again and again, but you know what? It's simply not true. Now, you can't do everything in the world, of course, but you can do the most important things. You can't take advantage of every single opportunity, but you can do the right things. And you can do more than three things. You can be successful in many areas of your life. You can be successful in the most important areas to you. Now, I know that you're goal-oriented. You wouldn't be listening to this podcast or watching this video if you weren't. But here's the thing. One of the things that I struggle with in being a goal-oriented person is that I have become so stinking focused on whatever that one goal is that I tend to neglect other areas of my life. It's not because I can't be successful in those areas also simultaneously. It's simply that I become so focused. It's like I'm one of those horses with blinders on and I just forget about those areas. I don't intend to neglect them. I don't mean to forget about them. I don't mean to get off track so strongly, but I do. I've got my eye on the prize. I'm running hard. I'm running and gunning and moving and shaking in this one direction. And I completely neglect other areas of my life. I'll give you guys an example of when this was really apparent to me. I was 23 years old and I was working in nonprofit, trying to build my career. Many of you have heard me talk about this before, but I worked 70 and 80 hours a week. I worked all the time. But I also, on top of all this, got the bright idea to move to a 40 acre farm by myself. Minor detail, I'd never lived on a farm before. Didn't have the first idea about the work involved in keeping a farm going. So during this season of my life, I worked in my full-time job 70 to 80 hours a week and every other waking minute I was working on the farm. Now it probably doesn't come as a huge shock to you that I wasn't dating anyone during this time. But you know what else I didn't have? I didn't have a life at all. I wasn't dating. I didn't have any friends. I hadn't seen my friends in months, even over a year. I didn't take care of my body. I wasn't working out. I wasn't eating right. I wasn't enjoying any hobbies other than whatever hobbies occurred on the farm, like riding horses or mucking the stalls. I worked nonstop. Now, work is an important area of my life. Work is something I love. I think work is something that is very, very good. I think there's something very spiritual about it. When you work with your hands, when you use your gifts, y'all know I've talked about this before. But work is not the only thing. Work is not the only thing in my life that's important to me. And it wasn't when I was 23, even though I was single and had way less responsibilities than I do today. I just got so focused on that one aspect of my life that I neglected everything else. But you know what? it's really easy to do that. Fill in the blank with whatever it is. Maybe it's work. Maybe it's a house project. Maybe it's obsessing over your kid's preschool class. Maybe it's a different goal. Maybe it's running a marathon. Maybe it's something else. It becomes so easy to get excited about that goal or that one particular thing. You get so focused there, and focus is good, but you get so focused that you forget about every other aspect of your life that you also care about that's also important to you. 
And so that's why I wanna spend a little time in this show introducing you to the wheel of life. You may have heard about this before, but in fact, Zig Ziglar is the one that popularized this entire idea, but we love using it and we use it in our company all the time because it really does paint this picture. It gives you a visual of the most common, most important areas of a person's life. So picture a wheel, a bicycle wheel that has different spokes on it. We're gonna go through each of the different pieces on this wheel and each one represents a different major area in your life, probably a major important area in your life. So let's talk about what those are. Number one, career. Now I would lump business into this because you might be working full-time in a career and have a side gig. Maybe your business is your full-time career, but some aspect of your work goes into this piece of the pie. This is an important area of your life. You spend a lot of hours at work or in your business. So this is something that should be a priority. It should be something that gives you joy, that fills you up, that you've got goals, you're intentional in this area, you love this area, it is a priority to you. This area represents any aspect of your business or your career. Let's talk about the second one, your finances, your money. So often we think of money as this optional ornament on the side, but you know what? Your money affects everything you do. It's the common denominator of everything you want to do in your life. So finances is a piece of the pie that you also need to make a priority. You need to be intentional in. You need to set goals in, make progress, be proud of. You need to have that part healthy if the other parts are gonna be healthy as well. The third area is your spiritual growth. This is where we're talking about your relationship with God and growing in your faith. So what does that look like? It's not gonna happen accidentally. Your relationship with God is like any relationship. It's gonna grow in proportion to how you invest in it, how you spend time with Him, spend time in His Word, spend time in worship, spend time in community, spend time learning and growing. It won't happen accidentally. So the third area of your life is your spiritual life, your spiritual health and growth. The fourth one is your physical health. So this is your body. How are you taking care of yourself? And I am not talking about being skinny. I'm talking about how you feel. How's your energy? How's your sleep? How's your rest? How, how, how do you feel when you walk up a flight of stairs? So taking care of your body, everything from the water you drink to the food you eat, to getting your heart rate up, to just caring for what God has given you. We only get one body. We get one. So let's take care of it. So this is a really important piece of the pie. This is an important spoke on the wheel of life as you realize that your physical health, again, will affect every other aspect of your life. The fifth area would be the intellectual spoke. This would be how you're investing in yourself for personal development. So books that you're reading, conferences that you're attending, classes that you're taking, podcasts that you're listening to, like this one, how are you investing in your mind? What are you putting in your mind and your brain that's going to change how you feel about your life, how you live your life, the actions you take, the decisions you make? Intellectual growth and personal growth is a huge aspect of your life that affects every other area as well. So the fifth spoke on the wheel of life is your intellectual growth, personal development. Your sixth area is your family, and these are in no particular order. Of course, we probably would have put family near the top, but the sixth area that you wanna focus on is your family. This would be your relationship. So your family that you live with, if you're married, your spouse, your kids, if you have kids at home, if you have kids in college, your in-laws, your parents, your cousins, your anyone in your family that you want to spend time with and you want to grow your relationship with. Here's the thing with family. It's really easy to take them for granted because they're just always there, right? Like we've got goals in other areas, but family, well, we'll just see them when we get home. But you know what? Your relationship with your family, your overall health and satisfaction with your family, again, will grow in proportion to how you invest in it. You know, we'll go hire coaches for soccer and football and track. We'll go hire business coaches, but we are not gonna go see a counselor to help our family, or we're not gonna invest in growing as a family to go to a conference together or bond or have some intentional experience with our family. But you know what? It's important. It's a priority, and if it's as important as we say it is, then we need to treat it like it is. The sixth area on the wheel of life is your family. 
And so you want to make sure that's a priority and at the top of the list when you are looking at how you spend your time and how you dedicate your energy. And then the seventh one would be social. These are your friendships, your relationships, hobbies, outlets, networking events, just getting out and having other relationships outside of your family unit and your work. What does that look like in your life? It's really easy to neglect this one, especially if you're busy. We all get busy. And so friendships kind of fall by the wayside. But you know what? Friendships are important to your overall health and satisfaction and just fun in life. When I have a night with my girlfriends and we laugh and we cut up and we tell stories, I go home and I'm so energized. I'm so filled up. It feels like I'm being me. I'm not just a mom or just a business leader or just a podcast creator. I just get to be Christy hanging out with the girls. And so don't miss the importance of your friendships and investing in those so that those areas and those relationships will grow as well. Okay, let's do a quick recap on the wheel of life. First area is career. The second would be your finances. The third would be your spiritual health and growth. The fourth, your physical health, so that would be your body. Number five, intellectual growth or personal development. Number six, family. And number seven would be social. These are your friendships and getting to know other people outside of your main circles. When you put all this together, you have the wheel of life. These different areas represent the most important areas to most people. But what about you? What's important to you? Do you have a really high priority that fits in one of these spokes? Or maybe you have one that doesn't fit within one of these spokes. That's okay. Remember, life balance isn't doing everything for an equal amount of time. It's about doing the right things at the right time. It's about finding confidence in the choices that are right for you, knowing what those are and then making them a priority. You know, successful women don't do everything, but they do know that they can be successful at many things. And if you focus on your priorities, then you can too. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And now you can check out this next video.